We're back to part two of getting open office. Um, download is completed. Um, you'll generally get some sort of block. Uh, Windows XP, you'll see this one here that gives you the security warning. Um, I completely trust the makers of this software, so I'm going to choose run. Then it starts going through your prompts. Um, the one difference is when we get here to installation preparation, I don't want it to unpack files into a folder on my desktop. So I'm going to browse and I'm going to put a new folder in my documents and I'm going to call it Open Office. I'm going to make sure that's highlighted, then I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to unpack. I just, I like keeping my desktop uncluttered, so a folder that's software vital, I just, I don't do it as habit. Um, otherwise, you can click next if you don't want to change where it unpacks the files. Again, it's a recommendation, but not required. So it is going to begin actually installing. Once the extraction is complete, okay. So you have your standard welcome wizard as you do in most software installs. Um, nothing vital here. Go ahead and click next. Um, you see my name in there. Um, I generally leave it available for anyone who uses this computer. I'm generally the only user on my own laptop, but anyway, I go ahead and click Next. Here is where you can choose a typical or custom install. I'm going to click Custom just for now so you can see it. Um, just like Word, you can go through and click. If you don't want to install certain components, uh, you can go through um, and uncheck them. If you click on them, First option is this feature will be installed on local drive. Second, this feature will not, or and all sub features will be installed on local hard drive. And then if you hit the red X, it makes it so it's not installed. Um, I'm not actually going to undo any of these, so I'm going to click back and choose typical, and then I'm going to click next. Um, I do want a link on my desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and click install, and it's going to go through a very standard installation process that you'll see in most any software you install. Um, again, just to touch base a little bit more with the options on installing, um, if you go through OpenOffice, uh, you may not want um, you know, the math one and the base for databases. Um, are probably ones that people wouldn't use as often. I like having them, you know, for if I do have a project, I don't like having to install it and change it later. Um, so it is up to you. It is simpler if you are unsure what you're doing to go ahead and do the typical install if you don't use a part of the software. And if you're not close to using too much of your hard drive space, which most people don't, um, it, it really doesn't do any any harm to go ahead and install those programs. They don't take much space. They don't use much resources. So now we're just waiting for it to finish. Now once it finishes, um, you will see a standard registration. Um, I think what we'll do here is go ahead and call this part two and come back for the re registration and kind of seeing um, a real basic interface for choosing software, which part of OpenOffice you want to use. Uh, so we'll be back.